Hi, and welcome to episode 20 of Understanding Dark Table. This is going to be very short and sweet. I had someone reach out to me via the comments on episode 4, Collections. Uh, this was Heo Maria Vasconcellos. Oh man, I am butchering that horribly. I, I apologize in advance. <laughs> and he said, hey, audio to you, what is happening at 6 minutes 51? What about semicolon and equals used alone? What do they do? Now, this was in reference to narrowing down a search result in the collections module. And as I suspected, the equals sign is actually pretty much redundant. If we're to have a look in Darktable, we go to the Collect Images module, choose Date, and if I just type in 2017 colon 01, I will get all of the images that I shot in January of 2017. If I put an equal sign at the beginning, the results don't change. So don't worry about the equal sign. However, the semicolon is an interesting one. In episode four, I talked about how if I wanted to create this uh, collection for my Europe, UK, Thailand holiday from 2017, I would use two date operators, one with a greater than or equal to the first date you know, that we were on holiday, and a second date operator less than or equal to the last day of our holidays. However, it turns out there is a simpler way, and that is, we can just reset this, change this to a date, and as per the instruction there, we use the square brackets and the semicolon to create a beginning date and an end date in the one argument. So what we do is we go square bracket, 2017, 06, 18, because that's when we started our holiday, semicolon, 2017, colon, 07, I think it was about the 20th that we finished, uh, square bracket to close it, press enter, and that's the first image, and shift G to jump to the end, and that is the last image of the holiday. So there we go. We can do a date range in the one argument using square brackets at the beginning and the end, and the semicolon in the middle. So there you go, hey-ho. Uh, hopefully that answered your question. As for the equal sign, it really does appear to be a redundant operator uh, in terms of narrowing down uh, a, a selection of images. In all of my testing, I've not been able to get the equal sign to return a different set of images to what I get by simply entering a date without any operator at all. So if anyone's had any experience with the equal sign and getting it to behave differently, please sing out in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll consider it a redundant command. All right, that's going to do it for this one. Talk to you soon. Bye.